The only reason we're doing this is because the first layer that goes down is like a uh, like almost a white cotton fabric because that's what you see on the inside. Uh, so we're just doing this to protect it from the black dark stain. So after the whole roof is done, I'll go in and I'll pull all the plastic off. It's an extra step. Because who needs extra steps? We do. All right, so we're, uh, we got the insulation all the way around. We're connecting the seam, so that's a full circle. Okay, now for the fun part. That wasn't the fun part? No. No. What's well, right. the fun part? <laughs> the cover. 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here goes the hill. <laughs> All right, so we have the uh, roof up top here. It's all rolled up. We're gonna lift it up onto the ring, roll it down, and there's an orange tag that should be going right in the center of your primary door. Uh, so you wanted to get as close to that as possible. It's heavy, it's a monster, but it'll keep everything water, air, weather tight. Yep. Cool.
Well, yeah, nice work, team. The, the roof is up. Another day, we'll do the walls tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will do the walls. <sighs> and now I need a beer. Yeah. You want to get a beer with us? Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that instruction manual booklet? Today, the weather gods have graced us here in Oregon. Um, one more day of sun to kind of finish everything up. We're putting up the walls. Pretty much we're, we're basing everything off of this diagram that comes in the instruction manual. And this page is going to differ for every single customer because it's showing you exactly where you chose the windows to be. And so that when you're grabbing panels out of the stack, you know exactly what you're grabbing and where it should go. You can actually, if you have a change of heart while you're out here, you can change out these panels with another one that you have. Um, that's what we're doing here. We, we love this view, so uh, we're going to have these big windows all the way around, even though our plan says that one of these is a, a solid panel. It's totally fine because these all zipper up and down and even if you want to change your mind a year from now where you want these to be placed, you can do that. It's just a matter of unzipping one panel and moving it. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah, so we use the scaffolding that we used inside out here in a ladder. Just to, you want kind of a long working space because you're going to be walking back and forth trying to hook these all, all up. We're putting up the insulation and the insulation corresponds to the different wall panels. So if you have a big window wall panel, you're going to have an insulation panel that has a big cutout from it. So you're, you're putting the, the insulation up as Velcro tabs on the top that go over the cable. Once the is insulation is relatively close to where it should be, there should be about a four inch overlap over each insulation panel. Once it's where it should be, then you can move on to the outer cover. The outer cover just has these little clips on the top that clip in to the cable as well. So we're almost done with one half. We're gonna go finish this up and do the other half. We're gonna have fingers of steel after all this is done. Walls are up, the roof is up. The last step is to put in the doors. It's a little nerve wracking cutting this. I feel like I'm voiding a warranty. <laughs> you got that on camera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> pull, 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 pull. If we do need to adjust this later, we can put some shims in here um, and re-screw these in. But for right now, they're fine. Nice. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> 